Welcome to Dan's Messy Garage. Today I'm working on a 351 Cleveland engine that came out of my 68 Mustang. It has pop-up pistons in it and you can't measure the CC of the piston at top dead center because it's sticking out of the bore. So what I did, I found out that when I push the piston level with the deck surface, it, it's 0.365 inches down. So I want to know what the volume is at 0.365 inches down. Then I'm going to push it another 0.365 inches down, measure that volume, subtract the two, and that's going to tell me the difference. Right now I have the piston 0.73 inches down which is twice three point three six five i'm going to take and put some grease on here and we'll take a plexiglass plate with a hole in it put that on top of the cylinder and i'm going to start with a known volume of liquid um, i got this real nice beret or barrette off amazon it's 100 cc's it's like 20 dollars that's <laughs> I thought that was money well spent. And I have windshield washer fluid in there now. Virtually any liquid would work, but I like the thicker fluids like water or oil, or transmission fluid, as opposed to gasoline or thinner or, you know, acetone, because the thinner liquids are going to soak in past the rings. There's a little split in the ring. It's going to go past that quicker than a thicker one will. So I'm just using windshield washing fluid. So I'm going to take some grease. Nice thick cold grease here. Let's smear that around. And this is going to seal that surface when I put that plexiglass plate on there. It's going to keep the liquid from oozing out between the plate and the block. Okay, I take my plate, position it so the hole is up the top here. Like that. Start with 100 cc's of liquid. It's like watching paint dry. Slow and boring here, but uh, we're getting there. I have to stop this when it gets to 100. Okay, that's a hundred. Now I have to refill this. Let's see if I can get it right at a hundred. Okay. Just a little bit over. I'm going to let some out. Okay, there's a hundred. So we have a hundred cc's in there. And I'm going to stop this when that cylinder is full. Right there. And this reads, it took 47 more cc's. So there's 147 cc's of liquid in here with the piston 0.73 inches down. So now what I'm going to do is uh, take the plate off. This is going to make a mess, but I'm, <laughs> I'm good at making messes. So I'll take that off. Push the piston up. 
there's no crankshaft in this engine, so I just had the piston sticking in the cylinder here. I'm gonna lift this up, get water out of there. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go down flush with the top. Going flush so I can put that plastic plate back on there and CC this again. Okay. Just a little blonde one more. That's a little bit too much. That's probably a redhead. Let's see. Try that. Ah, perfect blonde. Okay. So now, I'm going to grease that up again. Get those little peaks, that helps seal that good. Take this, take some of that mess off there. Looks like I have a good seal in there. Fill this back up. I'm going to start with 100. Perfect. Whoops. It was perfect and I went too far. Back that down. Okay, we're at 100. To the rock. So we, had, we were at 147 cc's with the piston down 0.73, and now, okay. We just used. 63 cc's so we have to do a little bit of math figure out what the difference is let's see i said it was 147 63 84 so there's 84 cc difference between where it is now and where it was now i have to figure out what the volume would be when the piston is up and that is sticking out of the cylinder then I can subtract those two numbers and I'll know the cc's of that dome thanks for watching bye